Welcome to Pressure Drop, your Southwest Florida video blog. My name's Eric Taubert, and today we're going to be discussing a topic that's near and dear to my holiday heart, the making of peanut brittle. Over the past few years, I have personally made the making and distribution of peanut brittle to my family and friends a holiday tradition here at the Barometer headquarters. So we're gonna show you how it's done, give you some tips and tricks to make it easier for you, and send you on the path to peanut brittle success. And here are a few of the ingredients you will need. These are actually all the ingredients you'll need to make the peanut brittle recipe. Let's go to how much you'll actually need to make one batch. First order of business is to spray a cookie sheet with a little Pam nonstick spray. You're gonna do that generously and you're gonna put it aside. Next, you'll want to prepare one tablespoon of butter, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and one teaspoon of baking soda, and then we're just going to put that aside. Next, you'll want to fill a pot with some water, put it on the stove, and bring it to a boil. Our next order of business is to add one cup of sugar and one half cup of light corn syrup into a microwave proof bowl. And we're just going to stir this until it's combined. Now we're going to take the combined mixture and cook it in the microwave uncovered for four minutes. Once the four minutes is up, we're going to stir in one and a quarter heaping cups of peanuts. Basically just want to loosely combine the two. You'll have a better chance to stir it in a little later. Sometimes use a two spoon method. There we are. Then it's back into the microwave for one minute intervals until it's done. We're going to stir in between each one minute interval. It's the end of the first minute. Now we're going to take our spoon and stir it in and really mix it up. I'm going to stir it kind of quickly though. You don't want to give this a chance to cool off at all. The faster the better back in for another minute. Here we are at the end of the second minute. See it's getting a little more foamy in there. Once again, quick as possible. There we are. Back in for another minute. We are at the end of the third minute. You see we're starting to get a light brown going on. Not quite there yet, but getting close. It's all going to be determined by color. Scrape it off. Don't worry about the big stuff. Back in. I'm going to put it for another 30 seconds this time. Usually takes about three and a half minutes. So we've got a full three minutes and 30 seconds. At this point, we're going to add the butter that we put aside. The vanilla extract that we put aside and then we're going to sprinkle the baking soda over it. I usually like to put on an oven mitt at this point and give it a good stir. Now it's going to bubble up a little bit. There we are. Now what we're going to do is lay it out onto the prepared cookie sheet. Spread it out a little. Try to get as much as if, of it as you can out onto the cookie sheet. Because it's hell to clean out of this bowl later. 
Now while it's still hot, we're going to use a spatula to kind of stretch it out a little bit if we can. I usually spray a little of that Pam spray onto the spatula so it doesn't stick as well. The thinner you get this, the better, but you don't want any really open, gaping holes in the middle. See, we're starting to get a few of those here. There we are. It'll really work in a few minutes. At this point, to make it an easy cleanup, what we're going to do is take anything that has the sticky peanut brittle stuck to it. We're going to put it all in that one bowl that was in the microwave. Then we're going to take the boiling water that we had going and dump it into that bowl. Well, just let that sit for a little bit and it's going to do the job for you. And once we've given this a few minutes to cool down, it's probably safe to reach in and remove it from the cookie sheet. It's still going to be a little pliable. So you want to be careful with it. And we're going to take it, put it on a piece of parchment paper. And a few minutes have gone by, and as you can see, this uh, hot water really did the trick. Didn't have to do any scrubbing at all. Everything came off. That's why we boil the water. Making peanut brittle is so easy and fun that if you're not careful, I mean, you could become obsessed and just make this stuff all day. At this point, you can break up the peanut brittle using whatever method you'd like. And once you've got it all broken up, it's time to begin the bagging. And here they are all bagged up. At this point, I like to enlist some assistance from Santa's elves to help me tie the ribbons on and make the bags look pretty. And here we are, all packaged up with labels affixed to each bag and ribbons, wishing everyone who receives and eats the Christmas peanut brittle a happy holiday season. And this is Eric and Charlene from the Cape Coral Barometer signing off. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Till next time, stay cool.